Rogers to Centerville locations and its Anglewood store will host a drive through event from 5 until 9. For a complete list of Halloween festivities in the Miami Valley, visit WHIO.com. There we've posted trick or treat times for each community and information about other events across our viewing area. A magnitude 7 earthquake struck off the coast of Turkey today, killing at least 19 people and injuring hundreds more. And we'll call the quake led to a tsunami, which then flooded the streets in Turkey. Yeah, unfortunately, there were no tsunami warnings, but this 7 magnitude earthquake just off the shore there of Turkey created a ripple effect. I saw lots of videos on social media of the water there receding and exposing the beach. You saw that some of the boats were actually grounded because the water rushed away. Take a look at this damage, Molly. Isn't this incredible? That whole building collapsed. Wow. Um, there were, as you mentioned, nearly 20 people that perished from this, and I'm sure they were going to see that number climbing as well. This is such a natural phenomenon, and again, sadly, there was no tsunami warning as that water came rushing back in. There's that, that complete drop down of that one building. Take it back locally in the Miami Valley. A freeze warning is in effect for us tonight. Begins at 2 a.m., goes until 10 o'clock in the morning across the entire Miami Valley. If temperatures stay below freezing for several hours, this will be our last freeze warning of the season. So we'll wait to see what the official numbers are from the National Weather Service tomorrow. If we do not have that happen tonight. It's likely to happen Sunday night into Monday as we all fall into those 20s. So in the morning around 8 a.m., we're going to look at temperatures dropping back into the 30s. And we're actually going to be closer to 30 degrees in Dayton. We'll be in those upper 20s across the north up toward Wapakoneta. Tomorrow afternoon, we get to 53 degrees. Sunsets at 635, but on Sunday, we're going to have a sunset around 530 because we set our clocks back one hour tomorrow night. Trick or treat forecast shows that we are going to be dry for tomorrow evening. It will be chilly, though, as we fall back into those 40s. Sunday, we'll see a few showers early, perhaps a flurry late day. Sunshine and cool temperatures into next week. I don't know if I'm ready to be hearing about flurries yet. It is still October. That'll do it for us tonight. Touchdown 7 is up next.